Thank you for registering for the International Trade Trailblazers EconoQuest from the Montana World Affairs Council. Once you have registered, you will be directed to a page that looks like this. Click Create the Class button. This will go ahead and direct you to create a class. You're going to go ahead and fill this page in. Start by putting in your name um, of the class. I'm going to call this International Trade Trailblazers Period 2. Uh, you can click the guided mode if you are using this as a whole class activity. So um, students will not log into the platform and you will project the platform um, up on your smart board uh, in order to go through the class uh, with everybody all together. Go ahead and enter the number of learners. You're gonna enter the number of teams. Um, students can work through this individually or you can put them on teams. Um, and then go ahead and enter the challenge code. If you are coming to this page from your registration page, it'll automatically fill. If not, you can find that code on the Montana World Affairs Council website under the EconoQuest International Trade Trailblazers uh, website. Once you go ahead and click that register button, it will take you back to your home page and you can see that there is the EconoQuest International Trailblazers uh, class. Go ahead, click that, and this is your dashboard. Your dashboard will always have a red bar at the top. You can view the challenge, and this is where you'll see background information, the scenario you read with the students. There's also a mentor library. That mentor library has instructions for um, teaching on the platform. It has resources for you. And then we go ahead to the steps, and the steps are what the students will see as they are working through this International Trade Trailblazers Challenge. Scrolling down, you will see a place for teams, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, and then we'll have your learners. And so your learners are your students. If you've done a challenge, you can add your learners just by name. If not, you'll click the new learner button, um, enter first, last name, and create a password. I create passwords that are the same for everybody so that it's very easy to remember. It's important to note that anytime you add a learner, you will need to put them on a team um, in order for that student or learner to enter information on the platform. There's another way to add learners into a classroom. Um, at the top of your page, you'll see a class code. You can give that code to students. Go ahead and project it on your overhead projector um, and direct students to the ICChallenge.org platform. Click log in. Um, they are learners, uh, not mentors, so if they click that. They can go ahead and enter their name, their email address, password. Again, I like to have them enter the same password so it's easy to remember when they forget it. And then they'll put that join code in the box that says classroom join code. Again, make sure that you go ahead and scroll on your dashboard down to team management and add that learner to a team once they have registered. Once the student registers, they'll be able to access the dashboard. The dashboard looks very similar to yours, except it has a blue bar at the top. Um, they will go ahead and be able to see information um, and enter their answers at the bottom of the page. So you can see, I'm gonna just type in, uh, this is my answer. And once I do that, they will click save and continue. And I, when you go onto your site, so remember yours is gonna have the red bar, um, you will go down a little bit further and suddenly you're gonna see that uh, the, work, the step completed has turned blue. You can even go and check student work um, just as part of the team management.